Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is Sunday and the VIB sale at Sephora starts tomorrow, which is Monday. Um, so I just wanted to pop on here and tell you guys my recommendations for the sale and kind of what I'm wanting to pick up. Alright, so let's just go ahead and get into it. So I think first I'll start with hair care. Um, so, I've, I've talked about this before, but this Olplex number no. 6 Bond Smoother, this is their leave-in treatment, and this stuff is amazing, like, I'm, I want to scream it from the rooftop, the rooftops how much I love it, like, it is so good, you guys. I've been using this the last, I think, two months or so, but it has changed my hair, and when you use this in your hair, um, I mean, oh my gosh, your hair is just so soft, and I've noticed my hair has grown quite a bit as well, which normally it gets to a certain point and it just stops because, I don't know, I just, my hair is honestly not the greatest, um, and plus I keep adding more blonde, so, but that is really, I've really seen a change in my hair from that, so I highly recommend picking that up, especially if you are blonde or if you color your hair a lot, but yeah, this, I really, really recommend this, it's so good. So the second thing I wanted to talk about, I've talked to you guys about it before and I actually remember saying at first that I really didn't like this. And this is the, this is the Carastes, I can't say it, um, but the Blonde Absolute um, Ultraviolet Mask. This stuff is incredible. Like you just really need to be sure that you use a decent amount. Um, because it is a little on the pricier side, and I think that's why when I first used it, I used the tiniest amount in the world, um, <laughs> and I didn't see any results, but you've got to use, like, a decent amount, but it is so good. It makes my hair just, it takes pretty much all the brassiness away, and it also leaves my hair feeling so freaking soft. Like, normally what I do is, I normally wash my hair um three or four times a week maybe it kind of it honestly depends really just how I'm feeling and how it's looking and stuff like that but I try to use this once or twice a week but I'm telling you this makes a difference like I really want to pick up some more products from this line because this is the first product I've tried in a long time that I actually do notice a huge difference in my hair so this is really good stuff so next I think I'll talk about skincare so the favorite of all of this i think is this indie lee brightening cleanser and i kind of mentioned to you guys in my last video that my skin has been freaking out like just pissed off like breaking out as you can see i'm sure i have like especially on my forehead which i never break out on my forehead really but they're like aggressive like it's just mad like real mad and I think a big reason, well, my job has been stressful, like, really bad, so I think that's part of it. But also, I ran out of this cleanser, and I have a lot of redness as well, and I noticed when I was using this, my redness went down a crazy amount, and my skin was just glowy, and which is saying something because my skin is so dry. Um, but this stuff is amazing, and honestly, the moment <laughs> I get, well, on my lunch break at work tomorrow, I'm gonna run to Sephora and pick this up. This is gonna be the first thing I buy at the sale because I'm telling you, it's amazing. So if you have dry skin, sensitive skin, red, and, like, you have a lot of redness, try this because it's amazing, and my skin misses it, obviously, so... I cannot wait to repurchase another one because this one is completely empty and used up. <laughs> okay, so I also, I've talked about this before too, but this is the Drunk Elephant TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum. And I just got the little mini size because you really don't have to use very much. And I like using this when I start to get, um, when I start to break out a little bit because around my time of the month is when I break out bad around my chin. And so I love using this at night before I go to bed. So I, I put this on and then I put either like a mask, like a moisturizing mask or like moisturizer or whatever it is on top. And I wake up in the morning and those blemishes have gone down tremendously. And I just, oh my gosh, you guys, this stuff is amazing. <laughs> um, recently, since my skin has been so bad, I've been using this um, 
at night and it's I can tell it's really they're so bad that it's taking a little bit more time than normal but I will wake up in the morning and the blemishes on my face have gone down a lot so I love this and you can get this one it comes with I think the luxury face oil and the other mini and I think it's around it's either $23 or $28 I can't remember but I highly 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 recommend this um, or you could try a sample first to see if you like it but it's amazing. I cannot say enough good things about this product. Okay, so the last two things I have for skincare, I probably have talked about these already too, but one of these is the Laneige sleeping mask, uh, the water sleeping mask in lavender. <sighs> you guys, I'm gonna scream. I love this so much. Uh, I they have an original one, which I think it just smells like nothing, basically. Um, and then this one smells like lavender. And they're $25, which I feel like is not a bad price. I have used all of this, and I am sad. This is my second one, because I had the original scent, and then I tried this one. And this one's all gone, and I'm going to be buying another one. Um, this stuff is amazing. I feel like it actually hydrates my skin, and I love sleeping masks because it's so simple to just pop it on at night and you wake up and your skin is just, it feels wonderful. Um, especially in the winter, I'm constantly using um, some kind of hydrating mask because I have to have it. Like my skin will be out of control, dry and feel awful. So I really recommend this. Like it is incredible. And for that price point, I feel like it makes it even better, honestly. So the last thing I have for skincare is this Summer Fridays mask. And I have the little mini size because I got this with a whey leave-in conditioner, which that is really good by the way too. I'm going to be picking that up because mine, I ran out of it. It was just a little mini size like this, but it was incredible and it smelled like honeysuckles. Oh my gosh, but anyway, so I will be getting that. But this is so good too. And this is another one where you just, um, you just put it on at night and you wake up or honestly a lot of days I put this under my makeup like I'll wake up in the morning and put this on and then put my makeup over it and I just feel so freaking hydrated and it's incredible so I really recommend picking this up too if you're looking for um some extra hydration and this is the summer fridays jet jet lag mask I don't think I said what it was called because I got too excited but <laughs> this stuff is amazing and when I run out I will definitely be getting another one of these because it's that good seriously okay so two of the palettes i really wanted to recommend to you guys they're not sold at sephora and i'm sad about it because why i love them but one was the tarte whitney simmons palette which i told you guys i've been obsessed with this it's just an all-in-one type of incredibleness like i don't know but that one and then the jeffree star jawbreaker palette which that's what i have on my eyes today but those are freaking incredible and I really hope Sephora well they'll never have this because I, I guess this was just a Ulta collab I guess um but oh, that Jeffree palette is so good too I've been having so much fun playing with the colors but but two palettes I do really really enjoy from Sephora are these Dominique Cosmetics palettes and I know I've talked about these before too but this is her newest one and this is the Rustic Glam palette and I love her palettes because, for one, the pan size is, like, gigantic. But her, oh my gosh, you guys, like, these shimmers, like, this is the shade Bohemian. And it's just so freaking pretty. Like, I'm gonna scream. That doesn't do it much justice, but this is the palette that I told you <laughs> When I went to Sephora in store and I swatched it, I almost screamed because I was so excited. But these are so good. The They're so pigmented and they blend so easily. Um, so I have the Rustic Glam and I also have the Latte palette, which also her packaging is cute. This one I've gotten dirty because, sorry, that's, uh, you know. <laughs> but the colors in here are gorgeous. I feel like this one... Um, for a while I used every single day because the colors I feel like you could make you know they're for every day um and I also feel like this is a perfect palette for fall because it's got a bunch of those like warmy type of tones and browns and oh my gosh it's so pretty like I'll swatch let's see I like to use macchiato the shimmer right here I like to use that um 
in the inner corner of my eye or on the brow bone and it's so pretty look it's that color right there it's so pretty okay and so for foundation i really recommend the new fenty beauty hydrating foundation i just did a video on it um i don't know what i did with mine though i could have sworn i put it right here but i recommend that one because it's what i have on today and i freaking love it like it looks so good and it's super hydrating and i'm just a fan um but i also love this it cosmetics your skin but better cc cream um i use the shade medium when i'm self tanned but this stuff is so good you guys for one it smells like key lime pie which i mean who could be mad at that but my eye is like twitching does anybody's eyes ever do that i feel like i'm i've just been so stressed that my body is like you know being mad i don't know <laughs> um but anyways yeah it smells like key lime pie it smells so good the coverage is amazing um, and I feel like this is very dewy, like it gives me a really beautiful luminous finish, which I'm obsessed with, and it does have sun uh, sunscreen in it. So I love this. I've used it for a really, really long time, and I'm getting close to running out, so I will be repurchasing. I probably will do it during the sale, actually, just to get that 20% off, but yeah, this stuff is really good. So I also have been really liking this Jouer blush um, duo, and it's got the shade Marigold and Rose Petal, and it's so pretty, you guys. Their blushes are so pigmented, and I kind of wish I would have just got the, um, they have this one palette where it comes with a lot more blushes than this, but these are crazy freaking pigmented. Like, it doesn't really look like it on my hand, like those aren't very good swatches but they're so pigmented that's the blush i have on today i have the shade marigold which is the shimmery one right here but they're so good and they're just super pigmented and i like the glitter in it because it's not too much but it's just kind of glowy which i'm all about glowiness um in case you can't tell uh but yeah so that's really really good um i'm kind of jumping all over the place um but fenty beauty just everything about Fenty Beauty I'm obsessed with, but this is the Kilowatt Foil High Freestyle Highlighter Duo and Sand Castle and Mint Mojito. And I wanted this for the longest time, and I'm so glad I finally picked it up because that shade Sand Castle, I'm actually wearing it today, but it's so good. It's so freaking good. And that blue shade, I feel like I really want to use it, but I'd probably use it on the eye, probably, you know. I am like not doing good with swatches. Oh, there it is. There's the blue and then there's the one, but you can see like on my cheeks just how beautiful, like it is gorgeous. Um, I mean, honestly, everything from Fenty Beauty, I honestly love, so, but those are really good and they have tons of different um, color options to choose from. But okay, so this next thing you guys know I'm obsessed with and for a while I ran out of it But I repurchased this recently and I'm so glad I did because I missed having it in my life But this is the cover FX perfect setting powder in translucent light. This powder is incredible. I've been using it for Three years I think um, and it's amazing like if you put on foundation and it just looks kind of cakey and just not cute and you're like what the heck put this over it and i'm serious it will transform everything and i mean it'll blow you away like i am <laughs> like i am so obsessed with this and i will probably repurchase it until the end of time to be honest it is that freaking good Okay, so I do have two little eye things that I kind of wanted to talk about. One is this Tarte Chrome Paint in the shade. Top Yacht. I couldn't see the shade. <laughs> um, but these are so freaking good. They're so beautiful. Um, yeah, I adore them. They are so freaking pretty. And these I love, like, lately for work. I'll just pop on, like, a crease shade and then I will put this like on the lid because as you can see it's so pretty i'm gonna swatch it but i just don't want it to like fall everywhere okay so that's what it looks like swatched i'm not doing good at swatching today but anyways they're so pretty and i really want to get this color i 
forgot what it's called like beached babe or something so i think i am gonna pick that up during the sale because they're just so good and like i said it's so easy like if you're just wanting to add a little something to your look you can just like i said do your regular like crease shade or whatever and then pop that on and you're like glam so i love that i'm all about that quick glamness you know what i mean so um and i also really like these um touch and soul metalist sparkling foiled pigments and i have the shade honey brown and this is so gorgeous which i'm scared to open it because i just feel like you need to be very careful but i've used this in a tutorial before but oh my gosh and like i said I think in my tutorial for the holidays like these are going to be so beautiful like there's that one swatched but oh my gosh it's just such a simple way to just spice it up you know what I mean but yeah and they have tons of different colors in the tart uh, in the tart one and also in the touch and soul there's a bunch of different colors so you have tons of options for whatever you know kind of color you're looking for I have glitter all over my hands right now. <laughs> okay, so the last thing I have is lip stuff, which you guys already knew, I'm sure. I was going to talk about the Fenty Poutsicle lipsticks. These are just so good. Like, I just love them because they last a really long time, but they're not drying at all on the lips. They're actually pretty hydrating, um, which, you know, I appreciate greatly. Um... The colors are so fun too, like so fun for summer. Like this is the orange one in Sun Snatched. And it's just, you know, that's a horrible swatch, but <laughs> the colors are so pretty and I just really recommend them because this summer I've been using them constantly. They're just so good. I can't say enough good things. I'm so passionate about them, okay? <laughs> Um, okay, so the only liquid lipstick I have to talk about actually is this one from Dominique Cosmetics and um, This is in the shade babe and I feel like this is just a perfect everyday shade It goes with like any eye look and I really like her liquid lips because I feel like they last a really long time And the applicator makes it super easy to get really good and precise lip application um, and I can appreciate that because um I suck it, you know, that. <laughs> but that's the color right there. But it's so beautiful. It's just like that perfect nude, nudie pink. But I, I've been loving that and I use it all the time. Um, and for a gloss, this Patrick Ta, um, and I got it, I got the one in the shade, she's an influencer. But this gloss is so good. And I told you guys, like, I'm not really a gloss person. I never have been. Um, I'd be like... You know, I'd buy them, but then I would never use them because they just feel sticky and like my hair gets stuck in them and it's just, it's just a pain, you know, to wear them. But this one, I feel like I don't even feel that like stickiness at all. Like there's no stickiness. It's a beautiful, like the glitter in it is just, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Like I just, oh my gosh. But, um, and I think, okay, it has like a minty smell. I couldn't remember, but. I've been wearing this a lot like I'll just do like a nude liquid lip and then I put this on top I don't know why I just swatched that on my finger because I'm weird but it's so pretty you guys I really am considering picking up I think he has two other shades of lip gloss but they're so good and the packaging is super cute but yeah like I said they're super comfortable on the lips um, they're very pigmented and they're just super super good Okay, the last thing I want to talk to you guys about, this is the Fenty Beauty Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balm. And I'm obsessed with this. Um, I wanted something to kind of like carry around with me while I'm at work, like in my purse, because um, my lips get so dry. Uh, but I've been using this and it's been so good. Like you'll put this on and like four or five hours later, it's still on. And your lips look so plump and just... I love it you guys and I've been wearing this underneath my liquid lips like that's what I did today and it makes them even more comfortable and it's just it's good stuff like I've heard a lot of people talk about it um and at first I was kind of like no like I don't really want to try it and then I kept hearing more and more good things so I decided to pick it up and I'm so glad I did because it's some good stuff you know but okay so that's all I have um for recommendations 
Um, the main things I'm wanting to pick up from the sale, um, I'm wanting to get, of course, that cleanser. Like I told you, I'm running to Sephora to pick that up because I miss it so much. Um, but I'm wanting some Charlotte Tilbury stuff because I don't have anything from Charlotte Tilbury and her stuff just looks so beautiful and I've always wanted to try something from her. So for sure, I think I'm going to get a lip liner and possibly a blush because her blushes look beautiful. Um, and I'm getting a couple hair things. I can't remember exactly what I'm getting. My cart right now, my phone has 1%, so I don't know if I can even, like, check this. And my camera is blinking like it's about to shut off, so. But I know my cart right now, it's, <laughs> the total is, like, $600 or something, which, no, thank you. That, oh, $761, that's what my card is because it's a dream card and I'm obviously going to take everything out um, besides like two things or something, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'm really wanting to get the Marc Jacobs um, Remarkable Foundation. Um, I've used that in the past and it just honestly makes you look like a porcelain doll. Like It just makes you look like doll-like, like your skin looks flawless and I've really missed having it, but I'm going to be getting that. Um, let's see how long I can do this before my phone shuts off, but um, I do want to try the new Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation. That looks really good. Um, and I also really want to get this Ole Henriksen Glow 2 OH Dark Spot Treatment. I've heard so many good things about this and I really need a toner. Um, so I'm excited to get that. I do want to try also maybe that Makeup Forever powder foundation because everyone says it's such full coverage and so I'm kind of wanting to pick that up but I don't know if I en I'll end up doing it because like I said I'm not trying to go ham and all it takes is a couple things and you're you know spending a billion dollars so oh this is that mask I was telling you guys about that I really want to repurchase but this is the way treatment mask you probably can't even see but it is $32 and I, that little mini size I got, it was, it lasted me a while and that stuff is really good. Like here's even the like before and after picture, you probably can't really see it, but that stuff's really good. But yeah, um, I'll probably change it up and I'll let you guys know, of course, like I'll probably do a haul of what I do end up picking up, but let me know down below what you guys are getting because I'm interested and I want to know what you guys are picking up. So Thank you so much for watching, you guys, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.